Now let me introduce you to a lesson in, chem in the chemicals in, in timber. Now the chemicals in this light here should be stable and should not come off on my hands. Here we go, that's one rub up and down. Yeah, here we go. Blue. What is that? Now as you can see these chemicals here are uh, so it's been this way up for a week and as you can see the colours faded off that and it's now fading out of the timber coming off on my hands now some of these chemicals in the timber are actually pretty dangerous um, loads of different names some of them I can't even pronounce uh, now these chemicals are pretty dangerous to you guys the fact that a lot of us wearing gloves now, we're all banging our gloves on the dashboard of the van to dry them out because it's been raining on us. Now these chemicals are now leaving your gloves with fumes inside your van, you're now breathing them in guys. Now these chemicals, they uh, produce skin burns, copper hydroxide is one of them. There are many more guys. Look at it, look at it. Now... We take this stuff home to our, our wife and children. We sit at home there and we cuddle the wife and children and other things. And some of these chemicals take weeks to come off our hands. We're, a lot of you guys out there, I know you've been going on with blue hands on her. I've done it myself. It took two, three weeks to come off my hands. Now, as you can see, guys, blueness. And these chemicals are supposed to be stable inside the lot. How is that possible? I've got blue on my hands. How? So I'm back inside now and uh, as you can still still see my hand is blue over an hour later. Now I've washed that off, apparently. So, like I say guys, these chemicals produce skin burns. That's a fact. Can cause uh, eye irritation, blindness, if you breathe these chemicals in, which we're doing, just by the pure evaporation off the lats, never mind we're wa wafting off our gloves on the dashboard of the van there, and these chemicals can cause lung damage, they cause organ damage, organ failure. They're really not good for us at all, guys. And the timber industry, they're, they're, they are lying to us, lying. These chemicals are not stable, not at all. Not at all. The evidence you've just seen absolutely disgraceful now, there's lots of other nasty chemicals in timber treatment and the fact that the timber industry are lying to us get a look at this video here the vat they're containing the chemicals that they're putting in these lots absolutely unacceptable now the blue lot appears to be a real problem guys here we go now i'm not particular one of them guys that's, that's actually suffered from any issues, but my son has, my daughter has, and I know lots of you guys out there out there also have. A lot of you guys saying, oh, just man up, we've done it for years. It's pathetic, guys, it's pathetic. There's actually a real problem here. Guys out there getting burnt. We're now taking this stuff on to our wife and children. God knows where this is going to lead into the future when uh, guys are stripping these roofs that we're, we're, we're about to put on or have been putting on. It's going to be the whole asbestos thing all over again. Absolutely unacceptable. Timber industry, get a grip of yourself. Stop lying to us. Tell us what the exposure limit is here, because I can't find that out. See you later.